This is the story she told. The jet exhaust is perfect. That's what this song is all about. Can I have another quarter, he said. What? Can I have another quarter? Why, she said. Uh, I dropped it, he said. Sure, she said. She handed him another quarter. And he reached out of the window there and dropped it in the toll basket. Up comes the gate. And out comes Johnny's Camaro. Johnny's Camaro. Johnny loved his Camaro. Maybe more than life itself. Oh, it was no big deal. He was just taking her to the airport. It was autumn in New York City. There was a wind a lot like this. It was springtime, however, in Africa. She'd been saving up her money. She was going to go on these outward bound trips. So he was just giving her a ride to the airport. And around and around the airport they went through that parking garage looking for a parking space. There's one, she said, no. There's one, she said, no. You see, actually, it takes two parking spaces for Johnny's Camaro. Johnny's Camaro. He's a little nervous walking through the airport. He's always looking back over his shoulder. You can go back if you want, she said. No, no, man, I'll stay. And he did. He stayed until the plane took off. Then he ran back. But meanwhile, she was high up over, high up over the city. She was looking down. She was looking down at the lights in the building. She was looking down at the lights of the boats on the water. She was looking down at the lights. You could see him crossing the bridges and through the little canyon streets. Those little tiny diamond towards you and ruby away. You know, those little tiny moving lights. And she knew that one of them was... Well, you know, but man, I got to tell you about the adventure she had in Africa. I think I should start with the silver bracelet. I think that's where it all turns around. She hadn't been on the trip long, and one of the guides sort of took her under his wing. Because she was sort of startled easy. She was a little nervous about being out there. The first time she got sunburned through her hat, she realized she was a long way from home. She just left the group for a little while this one day where she, she just went to take a pee. She said, I'll be right back, but she didn't come back for a while. And this guy, this African man, went to look for her. Laura! Laura! He found her standing on the lowest branch of a fairly tall tree way off the ground. How you get up there? Well, she had jumped. Why? Well, there was a hyena. And they had told her about hyenas. They have jaws that can crush bone. She wasn't in a real confident position anyway, and she just ran, and there was the branch. She jumped. One hand slipped. One hand held. She was not coming down. He's gone. So now she trusts him, and she swings back down, and both arms straight, hanging from that branch. Her feet are four feet off the ground. Man, she didn't know she could jump that high. Ah, but she does now It was changes like that that made him give her that silver bracelet It was the one that he always wear kind of between his elbow and his shoulder Kind of wrapped tight around his arm It was a beautiful silver bracelet He bent it down a little bit to fit on her muscle there And she smiled So much so that it startled him. So much so that on the last day of that trip, when they were getting back on the bus to go to the small airport, to go back to the big airport, to go across the ocean, to go back to 
you know. When they were getting back on the bus, she leaned out the window for that last little cheesecake snapshot. And as he looked through the camera, he had to slowly take the camera down and turn his head to the side a little bit and look a little bit sad and say, how you get up there? She was dreaming over the ocean Dreaming of being home again Dreaming over the ocean Of what would never be the same Well, he wasn't at the gate when she got into the airport He must have been looking for a parking space So she just walked through the airport, you know, and it wasn't like before Now the airport seemed kind of small The airport seemed kind of stuffy Ceiling was a little bit low And everyone was getting out of her way I don't know, well, actually I do know Maybe it had, it's because it had been winter, you see Well, she had just come back from summer she was just dressed normally. Everyone else was bundled up, but she had on her hiking boots and her shorts and her tank top and her hair tied back and the knife on her belt and a big old silver bracelet. I think it was the silver bracelet, but everybody was getting out of her way. She didn't see him till the backpack comes rolling down the old baggage claim and suddenly there's this arm and this voice saying I'll get that she said hey that's my backpack give me where you parked so he reluctantly gave her the backpack and she swung it over her shoulder and they went out carefully nestled it in the trunk and, and then out of the parking garage and into the city and she had to lean out the window she she pushed the button and made the window go down and she leaned out a little bit to feel the wind in her hair Man, this is the wild place to be. I mean, uh, this is the place. She has to lean a little further out of the car just to, just to see it all, just to look up at some of the buildings. As a matter of fact, she leaned a little further back so she could look back behind and watch those big tires rolling on that pavement. And then suddenly the window came up and she comes back in startled. And sure enough, Johnny's got his finger on the power, the Power, the power window and he's looking at her like will you get your feet off the upholstery the upholstery the upholstery she forgot how could she forget well she'd been in Africa come on she took her feet off the upholstery as a matter of fact she took her feet off the upholstery politely as a matter of fact she folded her hands in her lap and she settled in for this ride. I saw just a glint of a smile as she turned her face to one side. Maybe to feel the plush upholstery brush against her cheek. Maybe to see the lights of the graphic equalizer on the stereo reflected in the side window. Maybe to watch that lone drop of water make its weary way across that perfectly waxed surface. But I think it was just to enjoy this ride. This ride. This last ride. Johnny's Camaro Johnny's Camaro 